Well, what we do know is that uh, from a meta-analysis that prolonging dual antiplatelet therapy beyond one year, in addition to increasing the risk of bleeding, uh, some studies have suggested an increase in non-cardiovascular uh, mortality. We know from the ADAPT trial uh, that uh, this was actually related ultimately to an imbalance in uh, cancer-related deaths in the two uh, uh, groups. I believe that ultimately we do not have a definitive answer in regards to continuation between uh, after one year on the dual antiplatelet therapy. Uh, we should always uh, uh, balance the, both the bleeding and ischemic risk because we know that increased risk of bleeding is associated with uh, uh, worse outcomes, including uh, mortality. Yeah, there's an emerging uh, interest towards uh, stopping aspirin rather than a P2Y12 uh, inhibitor. And there are a series of ongoing trials uh, looking into this in various clinical settings, including uh, PCI. So as of now, we do not have definitive data. It's interesting, uh, and we'll just need to wait for the trials to show their results. I would say that the, the downside of all of these studies is that they're not looking at very long-term uh, outcomes. And one of the things that we do know that with prolonging aspirin therapy, that there's also uh, other benefits, not only cardiovascular, but also cancer-related uh, 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 events. So it's an ongoing topic. It's interesting. Let's just wait for the clinical trial data. The DAP score was uh, recently published in, uh, in, JAM in JAMA, and uh, it's a very interesting analysis that came out from the DAP uh, study, uh, which allows us to uh, define uh, or personalize uh, patients in whom there's a potential benefit or harm of prolonging dual antiplatelet therapy. So thus far, it's the best score that we currently have. It still needs to be validated in other uh, studies, but I personally find it as a very useful tool as we need to make decisions uh, in our clinical practice.